I wonder how many times you've watched the opening part of The Sound of Music. Have you seen that moment when Maria is up on the hills and she is so full of the joys of life that she flings wide her arms and she whirls around as she sings in great delight? Maybe you felt like that, maybe you've whirled around your living room as you've watched her singing, maybe you've been up on a hill and you've just felt full of the joy of life and you've wanted to express it like that. That's a little bit like how I imagine Mary and Elizabeth might have been feeling as they shared their exciting news together. Both of them have found out that they are going to have a baby. Only Mary's discovered that she's going to have the most important special baby ever to be born. She's going to be mother to Jesus. Mary and Elizabeth are so excited, you can imagine them just bursting with joy. And as they maybe spin around and whirl and dance together in Elizabeth's house, Mary bursts forth with song. She says, my soul praises God. My heart is happy because God is my saviour. She just can't contain the way that she feels and she wants to praise God. Now, Mary knows that something really amazing is going to happen. She knows God has chosen her. I wonder if God had chosen you or I, would we be busy thinking, wow, I must be really important that God chose me? That's not what Mary's doing. She's not showing off to Elizabeth. She's just genuinely full of praise for her God. And she wants to share that with Elizabeth and she wants to share her praise with her good God. So I wonder whether you've ever thought about doing what Mary did. She, she used words to write beautiful song that she could praise God with. And we use her words in songs too. Maybe you could write a song. Maybe you could write a poem or just put down a few words on a note to God, thinking of all the great things that you know about him. You could think about the way that he's blessed you. Think about the fact that he sent Jesus to be your saviour. Think about the fact that you can trust him to be faithful in always keeping his promises. And then maybe in a moment of quietness when nobody else is watching because this, is, if this isn't about showing off to anyone else, this is just about you praising God. You could use those words upstairs quietly in your bedroom on your own to praise God. You could go out on the hills with your friends and your family and in that, in that moment maybe you too could whirl around and show your praise and joy to God exclaiming at how great you think he is.